Yo, what is going on guys? We got another Power World mod tutorial and it is a banger. Today we're diving into the world of save editing with the PAL Edit PAL World Save Editor. Trust me, this is going to take your PAL adventures to a whole nother level. So buckle up and let's get started. Step 1, you want to download and install the PAL Edit PAL World Save Editor. Check out the link in the description below for a direct download. Next, you want to create a folder anywhere on your PC. I have mine on the desktop and we want to place that zip file we download it into the folder let's go ahead extract the folders contents you want to right click uh, you want to hit extract all but for me I have a VinRAR installed which is way easier so we're just going to select extract here On to step two, we need to back up our save. Head over to the file location shown on screen right now. We're gonna click here, and this might look a bit confusing, but don't worry, I've got your back. Inside this folder, there could be multiple folders depending on how many worlds you have created, and I have created quite a few. To ID the world we want to edit, we're going to start PAL world and simply load the world, then return to the title screen to generate an updated save file. And as you can see in our folders, this is the most recently updated file. So we're going to go ahead, double click here. And this is the file you need to back up is the level.sav file. I'm simply going to copy and place it in the folder we created in step one. Step three, now that we have our backup, we want to fire up the PAL Edit Save Editor EXE file. Let's go to the top left corner, select file and load PAL World Save. Now the directory should automatically point to your PAL World Save file location. You will get this done loading pop up and now we are ready for some serious PAL customization. Let's go ahead and edit one of our chickippies. I'm gonna go with the level one female right here. We're going to raise this to level 50. Change the gender to male and let's raise all attributes to 100. Let's make it a rank four. All right, in this section right here, we have our passive skills and to the right, we have our active skills. Now we can actually set these things to whatever we like, which is completely OP. And basically, this is how you're going to create the ultimate pal. In this section right here, we have presets. So there's utility, damage, set level, rank, add attributes. I'm gonna actually go ahead and select the speed worker right here. And yeah, you can also select level, rank, and attributes. Now I'm going to do that. And to the right, for our active skills, I'm going to add something crazy like Aqua Burst and Bubble Blast on our third skill slot just for fun. I don't know if this is actually going to work, but anyway, let's go ahead and fall. Save changes to fall. All right, we get our pop up, and all we need to do is start up Pal World. All right, so in our pal box, here's our modded CQP. And as you can see, he has been completely edited. We have our Chicken Rush, Aqua Burst, and Bubble Blast active skills. And for the passive skills, our preset worked. So we have Artisan, Serious, Lucky, and Work Slave. Ah, perfect, we're about to be raided. Let's throw our boy down and see what he can do. Straight to KFC if you die, my boy. Let's go, Chagippy putting in that work. Hey yo, Game Pass, Game Pass, how to mod on Game Pass. Power World so fire, but Pokemon on Flame Fast. Methods so easy, I'ma put y'all on some Game Fast. Don't even think, gotcha looking like some lame trash. First you wanna get to the file location, generate an updated file creation. Check the file size for the right vibration. The name's level safe, that's the right citation. Edit up your pile like your mama stole something. Save then reverse them steps like it's nothing. Reload the save like a boss that start hunting. Game Pass, eternal rage. Easy, we stuck it. Done.